everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing Raven's Hollow, which comes out later this week on September 22nd on Shudder. Raven's Hollow is a story centered around Edgar Allan Poe, who is drawn to investigate a gruesome discovery in a small town. I think the best way I can review Raven's Hollow is just to tell you about my experience watching it. You see, I had been planning to review Raven's Hollow for my channel for over a month. Shudder sent me an early screener, I added it to my watch list, and planned to check it out this week. A few days ago I put it on, intent on watching it, and typing up and filming my review afterwards. However, about 25 minutes in, I got too bored and turned it off and watched something else instead. The next night, I tried watching Raven's Hollow again, and again, got bored, and didn't finish it. Last night, I watched Raven's Hollow for a third time, and that time I did finally finish it. But to be honest, if I hadn't already scheduled this current review, there was no chance in hell I ever would have gotten more than 25 minutes into this. I rarely give movies I didn't like a second chance, and I almost never give them a third one. I didn't hate Raven's Hollow like some other horror movies this year, looking at you Orphan First Kill. I just didn't care about it. I was apathetic. At no point did it draw me in or give me any reason to be engaged or to keep watching. Visually, the entire movie is very grey and gloomy. Technically, nothing stands out. The cinematography, performances, costumes were all serviceable. The budget appears modest. It all looks better than, say, a middle school play, but worse than something like The Witch or The Cursed. This isn't a horror movie with monsters or jump scares or chainsaw wielding slashers. It's not overly thrilling or entertaining. Most of the movie is just conversation. Two people in 1800s era clothing chatting it up in tiny buildings for 90 minutes straight. I honestly don't enjoy being overly negative in my reviews. I want to like every horror movie I see, and I don't want to dissuade you or tell you not to watch this movie. You should give it a chance if you were previously interested. Raven's Hollow might be up your alley more than it was mine. But for me, a grey, slow moving period piece about a historical figure without much action or scares or suspense or intrigue or fun is just not my cup of tea. Overall, I give Raven's Hollow a 4 out of 10. Alright, that is my review of Raven's Hollow. As always, thank you Shudder for letting me check this one out early. Raven's Hollow again comes out on September 22nd on Shudder. Once all of you get a chance to check this out as well, please let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, Horror Flicks with Nick. Twice a week I post horror reviews, commentaries, and short recommendations for horror movies you should watch on Netflix and other streaming services. Thank you all for watching my review of Raven's Hollow. I'll see you all back next week for another new horror review.